So the stage set here, and okay, again, I like the consistency. 178.5 pounds, even in this new welterweight 175 pound division. 178 is too heavy, and Zhukayev wow. gets deducted wow, a point. Wow, you can't do that. Come on. It's not he's a good got look. an uphill battle against a very large looking Imam Shapi Mutarov. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, not the way you want to be starting the fight against he's this big. monster. He looks, like, he looks like a middleweight out there. <laughs> he does, bro. He's big. How, how tall? A um, little over six foot two. Yeah, yeah, middleweight size. Six foot two point five. Yeah, he'll easily fight 185 the back half of his career. Or maybe just live at 75. 75, just again, solving problems. It's kind of like when Khabib thought of this. He must have said, how come no one else is doing this? Yeah. Like, it's just kind of a, it solves so many problems. Like, But people get set in their ways. It's sort of like, well, this is the way we've always done it, right? Yep. Like, but what does that mean, right? Yeah. That's not innovative, and that's not... And as soon as you change it, this is the way we always do it now, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I never get I never get it, to be honest with you. The 65 is the huge one. That's the huge one. Yeah, the dudes that's the, cannot the, make 55, and they get creamed at 70. Feeling out process here. Shooting the single, Gikayev. Trying to sweep that remaining right leg, but could not pull it off. Oh, beautiful oh. elbow. Fast. Oh. Fast. Right Fast. to the point, huh? Nasty. Yeah, right on the jaw. Yeah. And I, I think you and I both noticed right away, just fast. Just like from out of nowhere. You're not defending. <laughs> you see him getting right yeah, here at yeah. that time. He's like, and now okay. he's ducking his head in there, too. So he's giving up head position for to avoid getting that type of strike. Nice relaxed, frenetic action from Mukhtarov. Kayev, you can see that welt from that uh, diaphragm strike. You see that right under his right elbow. Oh, yeah, I do not. Yeah. Nice little tat. See why? You see why? You can hear why. Uh, sweep the left leg. Go back to southpaw. Goes Muktara. Muktara up on his toes. In and out. Close the distance smartly. Yeah, he's just probing. Throwing out. Feelers trying to get his distance down. Flying switch knee, just missing. I love that jab. Jakai's got to be careful not to fall into a no offense or no not enough action pattern. Right. Sometimes you don't even know you're doing it. And but Mutarov's yeah. just three to one strikes. Just on that alone. Nice left hand from Jikai. Yeah, you're right. You can spend a whole lot of time just watching the guy. <laughs> and you sit there. And it's almost like a hypnosis. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, some guys got that type of got that type of style. You know, you, you think about it, Izzy, uh, uh, Israel Adesanya. He, he'll hypnotize you. And you sit there and you just, you're just watching him for most of the time. Yeah, because he's so fun to watch. You know, he's just so... Uh so pretty. My, my coach uh, Dewey Cooper calls it snake charming. He's, ah. he's a snake charmer. He'll sit uh, there and awesome. he'll, he'll just lure you to sleep and then bam, strike you out of nowhere. Coming up on the 32nd mark here in the opener. Scheduled for five rounds in this interim welterweight title scrap. The belt will be wrapped around one of these welterweights' waist tonight. Yeah. 
I mean, he, 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 matrix. He, he throws some pretty stuff, you know. You you can't help but sit there and look. But <laughs> yeah, I but was kind of right. watching. I got mesmerized. <laughs> I was like, he had his head kind of sideways and looking out of the side of his eyes. He, so. Yeah, he's throwing all different types of technique. You're right, though. He, he's got to get to work. He can't uh, sit there and be mesmerized by this guy. Yeah. Rounds will start to tick off. Time will start to tick off the clock. And then now you're desperate because you've been losing the whole fight. Yep. And you open yourself up and get knocked out by a big strike. It's already, you know, we oh, got a nasty gash on the nose. That's pretty significant. Now it's not going to stop the fight because it's under his eyes. But just pain-wise and blood-wise, that looks like it could be an issue. Yeah, but he's he, he's looking a little uh, bewildered. That's exactly the look. Yeah, that's his, his eyes are... Mm -hmm. Like they're what, wide open. What just What's happened? going on? What's going on? What do I do, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Deer in the headlights, where, where you know? Am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I didn't expect this. <laughs> Whereas conversely, he looks very focused. Yeah. Calm. Imam focused. Yeah, just looks like, okay, here's what I'm going to do next. Determined. I mean, I don't want to read too much into the facial expressions, but that is, those were the impressions I got, and I think you got the same impression. Yeah. So, yeah, sometimes you can't hide that body language. You know, a lot of fighting is learning how to read somebody's body language. You can't hide it sometimes. You know, we were talking about how important this fight oh. was. Oh, inadvertent groin oh. strike. Oh, bad one too. Yeah, Chikai. Bad one. Look at his feet padded. That's <laughs> first for me. I've definitely never I've seen this never before. I've never really seen that either. I've never seen that. Okay. That Is was that, interesting. They, they teach you that in uh, rep school, huh? Is that like the bottle water spit? Like, <laughs> like there's different things. Okay. All right. Shake I, it off I, I've here. I've heard shake of the legs. Yeah. Okay. I never heard punching the bottom of the oh, foot, though. I'm some mean. form of acupuncture or acupressure? I don't, I don't know, know, but... Now my balls and my feet hurt. Chikai <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the hell did you just do? thought you was on oh. my side, ref. Come on. Oh, man. This ref's putting in bets on the side. <laughs> uh, so Chikai is just kind of all things that could go wrong, going wrong for him. Uphill battle. He gets hit with the point deduction on the weight miss. And he gets the groin strike. We'll see if this, sometimes this can actually anger fighters and they can come out and actually fight better. It almost wakes yeah. them up. It's yeah. sort of, you know, like a deep pain like that can sometimes make fighters, like, get more uh, efficient. I don't know, it's hard to, yeah. you know, it's That's hard definitely to true, yeah. put yeah. a word to it. You see it. Oh, oh. and again, I mean, oh. this, this, this is not good, though. It's not good. And, and the reactions that he's having. Uh, I'd like to see a replay to see how clean it is. Yeah, I would love to see a replay. But that's, that's really not good. They're going to bring in a doctor to look at him, I think. And, of course, Mukhtar is, is, is telling the big that boss uh, that it didn't, that the second one didn't connect. Is he saying that it's clean, that it was a yeah, clean strike? Yeah, Mukhtar is disputing, disputing the second one. He was looking over at Khabib and say, see how he's saying that. I can't, I can't tell exactly what he's saying, but. Yeah, we, we, we need to see a replay. He's trying to make a case. I mean, I don't know if he's going to be able to continue. Again, that body language is, is yeah. hard to it's hard to deny. He's in some serious pain. Here we go. Thanks, boys. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, clean. Yeah, that's yeah. clean. There's, There's no, no question doubt. about that. No yeah. doubt. No, no doubt. It was Mokhtar a low was low. saying I didn't do it, but that's. He did do it. Yeah, and, and the worst kind, I mean, while Straight he's up throwing the a kick, so mm. his legs are mm. splayed open. Crowd doesn't like it, obviously. Mukarov is their man. Is he okay? Chikayev is a gamer. All right, uh -huh. Chikayev's no, he's no quitter. But sometimes your heart can be your worst enemy. Sometimes yeah. it's better just to fight to live another day. Yeah, sometimes it'd be too tough for his own good. And now you know he's thinking about it 
any time that he throws a kick. Here it is again. Oh, he's I not going to want to. Yeah, that's yeah. This is the the second one. No warning though to uh, Mutarov after two strikes. Uh, surprising, at least not a warning, unless it happened when we were on the replay. Okay, time back in on the clock here in the second round. Nice left hand from Jukaya. We'll see what this does to Jukaya. Does it make him more timid or does it get him mad? Oh, nice left hand from Muktarov. And how does it affect Muktarov's game, his kicking game? You might decide I'm not going to throw even any more kicks. So yeah, far, it's been all hands since uh, we put time back in on the clock. Yeah, you got to think one more low blow might cause a disqualification or... That would be... Yeah, yeah it would not be a good... Brutal way to end the fight. Oh! Oh! oh. Man, he got him back. <laughs> <laughs> he got him back. Let's keep it clean here, boys. Let's I like keep it clean. I feel like I'm in a baseball game with the brush back <laughs> pitches, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> oh... Man. Wow. Hey, better, better, better. Hey, better. Yep. Now the crowd, the crowd thinks that this was on purpose, and I do not think this was on purpose. Well, at least he'll even it out. He'll, oh, he just gets a gentle massage on the feet. All right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Give a little favoritism right there. Oh. Uh, acupuncture. <laughs> yeah, he's not punching my feet. What's yeah, up? You get a little reflexology. <laughs> All right. The referee's just making sure there's good blood. No warnings to either fighter. Back to action. Combinations. If we get to about five groin strike mark, that we could be coming into a record. Like, that could be... Yeah, um, right. I don't know what that record is, if it's ever been tracked. Uh, to already have I mean, three. I do, oh. I do feel like it's it's the, the ref got to get in there and... Yeah. Have a talk with I'm him, a little you know? surprised that there was not a conversation at that point. Yeah, in, in, in boxing, you'll see that a lot more. The, the the ref will break you and say, hey, listen, I'm in charge here. We're right. going to keep it clean, you know? Yep. We want a clean fight. Meanwhile, Jikaev caught Mukhtar with a great left hand coming in. Oh, but those combos are just crazy. Wow, they're crisp. Yep. Very fast. He's really... Light Jakaya up. Switching stances. Yep. And that straight right is just, he's found a home for that jab. Yeah, the right hand seems to be the money from either stance. Yeah. Yeah, whether it's his power punch or it's his jab. But to be able to. But to be able to fight orthodox and southpaw is such an advantage. Absolutely. You twice as many weapons. Keep your opponent confused. Especially when you can do it this way and switch stances mid-combination. That's a very rare right, skill. Right in the middle of a combination. is just crazy. You just tuned in. You are watching Eagle FC 50. Already 50 shows for Eagle FC. That alone is just amazing. From beautiful Kazakhstan. It's been a great night of fights so far. I'm Jay Adams alongside the Motown Phenom, Kevin Lee. Glad you joined us. And we still have the main event to come. You're not going to want to miss it. Andreziev and Norgozai. Oh, that deep cut over the left eye could be a problem for Jikaev. Could be dripping into the eye as we speak. Yeah, that's a bad cut. Jikaev's got to get going a little bit. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any urgency. Now, he may not know he's behind, but you know, it, the way Mugtarov moves is, again, is another. He's got just some really smooth movement, and the judges love it. You know, the, the, there is some 
preference among judges. You know, they, yeah. anyone who can be flashy and put damage on. Yeah, they're going to win the and round. And be man. more active. Yep. Yeah, not to mention just sheer volume. You know, sometimes it's hard to know how hard a guy is hitting, too. So he might be hitting them a little harder than what it looks like, and that might be forcing Jakayev into a shell. He doesn't want to open up in fear of getting knocked out. I like what I saw at the end of the round out of Jakayev. Jakayev did this kind of uh, warrior yell. Okay. And, yeah, I was to like, get I, I like seeing on. that. Yeah, like yeah. get himself back into it. Like, I survived what was really, really rough, and really, really hard, and I'm here. And, uh, you know, regardless of the outcome of this fight, you got to really appreciate Azamat Chikayev out of Vladi Kavkaz because this guy's a warrior. There's not yeah. an ounce of quitting this guy. Yeah, he's not quitting whatsoever. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. They waited a full 30 seconds before they got on that cut. And, you know, didn't pay much attention to the cut either. I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed in the cut, man, if I'm in the corner. Yeah, you got to give your guy every opportunity you can. And you give him an extra 30 seconds of ice or an extra 30 yeah. seconds of end swell. Get, get, on the, get on the swelling. Yep. You know, that thing's going to swell up in the next round. That could start to blur his vision. Now you're taking more punches. Now the cut's opening up even more. Exactly. Uh, a great cut, man, is uh, paramount in high-level fights. Third round here. Who wants that interim title strap more? Who has the warrior heart to try to at least make it into the championship rounds? Oh, trading kicks. See, Jikaev, he's got heart, man. He's got heart. Nice kick up the middle from Otara. I, I like what Jikaev has. It's almost like a new resolution going into the third round. He's not letting Muktarov out strike him just in terms of volume. Now, who has the better strikes? You know, that that's a judgment call. But yeah, Jikaev. He's putting forth the effort. He's every single Muktarov strike is being answered. So there's a price to pay now every time Muktarov comes in. Well, it's almost like that warrior yell he did at the end of the second round you see he's got this new spirit kind of woke him up huh? yeah 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 but his punches are just a little wider and loopier than Mutarov. Mutarov's just getting right to the from a to b I mean, and he's, he's popping him with that jab. And you're just constantly getting popped with those shots. It's very, uh, it's very disheartening. You can break your, break your spirit. Right, break your spirit, break your timing. Uh, it just, you cannot. Oh, oh. There, that's it, that's it. Brutal body kick. Brutal wow. body kick. Just shutting down. That's wow. shutting down. Yeah. I don't see. Uh, okay, they're already going for this one as a win. Okay, I didn't see the official. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, nah, that was it. That okay. was it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he, he didn't want no more. No more. Like I said, body language is, will tell you a lot. And you curl up in a ball like that, this ref got to save you. That's it. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, hat, hats off to, to Mark Makata for not uh, hitting him with more strikes after the fact. Right. You know, it, it really would have been unnecessary. 
he knew he landed that body shot just really, really solid. He knew he had it. Imong Mukhtara just looking very dominant here in the co-main event and putting that interim welterweight strap around his waist. You can see the emotion. We were talking at the beginning of this fight, Kevin, about how important these moments are to these fighters. And you could see right away the emotion from Imam Shapi Muktarov. This could be the biggest memory of his life. Yeah. You know, yeah if absolutely. he's not married yet or doesn't have kids yet, this is the biggest moment in his life. Your and first world championship. Yep. I mean, you don't forget moments like that. And he's definitely not going to forget that kick right on the ribs. Boom. Right on the ribs. I mean, <laughs> you see yeah. what Mukhtarov did. Mukhtarov I mean, did like a like a grand opera sweep with his hands. Like, and the scene is over. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. He did one of these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an end scene. Man, I mean, it was a brutal fight. He, he picked them apart. Uh, Jemayev was he was game the whole time, right? Like you said, he he never really gave up. And he kept trying to, to answer all his strikes, but the technique was just too crisp. And, I mean, you see all the redness on the side of his body. He took a lot of punishment this fight. Imam Shafi Mukhtarov. And how stoked is he with this win? Now, very sportsmanlike. Goes over to congratulate Azamat Chikayev on a great fight.